All right, we have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Southern Connecticut for the potential for uh, damaging winds. Let's go right to our uh, early warning pinpoint topper right now. And you can see that uh, we have a uh, uh, severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 1215. You can see it right there in effect until 1215 for uh, portions of uh, Fairfield County. Uh, Stratford is under that warning in uh, New Haven County. You got uh, Milford, West Haven, New Haven over toward uh, Guilford. So that does extend into uh, portions of uh, Middlesex counties as well. This is the potential for damaging winds uh, around 60 miles an hour that could bring down some uh, trees and power lines. We have had some power outages tonight, and uh, this also is an area that's getting some intense rainfall right now, perhaps at the rate of a couple of inches an hour. I'm going to go into uh, an area here to uh, check out uh, exactly how uh, fast the uh, rain is uh, falling in some parts of the uh, state. And you can see that uh, this is uh, pretty incredible. You know, some rainfall rates at uh, five inches an hour, according to a Doppler radar. It's almost like almost uh, hard to believe that that is true. But I'll tell you what, it is raining extremely hard in that part of the state. And uh, that part of uh, Connecticut, uh, Fairfield, in New Haven County are under a uh, flash flood emergency. Those, so the impact from Ida is high, very, very high for flooding. So we discourage travel. If you see a flooded road, please turn around. It only takes 12 inches of, of rapidly moving water to carry a car away. Damaging winds and power outages, we're seeing some. Coastal flooding is uh, not too much of a concern, but there is that risk for a, a tornado somewhere in a southern Connecticut closest to the warm front. We got that tornado watch in effect until one o'clock in the morning. Things should tend to improve after that. We got the flash flood warning in effect for much of the uh, state. Uh, New Haven, Fairfield counties are under a flash flood emergency. As uh, Aaron said earlier, the uh, subway system is shut down in New York City. Uh, parts of the mid-Atlantic states have had uh, the worst flooding in uh, 200 years, a one in 200 year event with uh, those rapid uh, rainfall rates now occurring here in Connecticut. The Still River, the Housatonic River are under a flood warning and we have a flash flood watch in effect for all of Connecticut. Two to five inches of rain everywhere. Some local totals up to six to eight inches are possible. Granite has already had five and a half inches of rain. There's our ICAM in Hartford where it's been pouring on and off uh, this evening. Our ICAM in uh, Waterbury, you're getting some very heavy rain right now. You're getting into that band of uh, high rainfall rates and there's our ICAM in New Haven where the rain is pouring uh, down and you are also under a severe thunderstorm warning until uh, well, uh, 12 uh, 30 uh, in the morning and look at that northeasterly wind at 21 miles an hour. Connor, that wind uh, could cause some scattered power outages here and there. But of course, the main concern right now is for the uh, flash flooding. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Bruce. So, you know, you had some of those strong winds and we got some of those weak branches from Henri and, you know, everything's soaking wet. So potentially some isolated scattered power outages possible in some of these areas with strong winds on top of all the rain. Temperatures right now, we're in the lower 60s, 62 degrees right now in Windsor Locks, 62 in Norwich. We're seeing 60s along the shoreline as well. Wind speeds are coming out of the northeast. That is the one shred of good news. We don't like to see the strong winds, but the orientation of the winds is very important because we want to see them out of the northeast, not the southeast like it is in Long Island with an elevated tornado risk. Uh, nonetheless, those winds may support uh, a tornado later on tonight. We do have that tornado watch in effect. Wind gusts were up to 32 in New Haven, 37 in Bridgeport. So that's marginally enough to cause some tree damage. That's something what we'll be watching for in those southwestern counties. Satellite radar showing the post-tropical cyclone of Ida pushing through southern New England. We're seeing that heaviest downpours. And I mean, just think of one of the strongest thunderstorms that we have all year long. And then we're talking about uh, many, many miles uh, of area where we're seeing the, the heavy downpour across especially Fairfield and New Haven counties. So that is where you know we have an elevated flash flood risk across the entire state, but particularly those areas where you see those reds. That's where we're talking about a particularly dangerous situation as we're getting a lot of that moist air colliding into this low pressure system that's pushing towards Connecticut. So we want to see that warm sector stay offshore. That is mainly what's happening right now. And we don't want to see those winds getting too strong aloft. And that's what we're uh, can going to continue to see the shoreline get closer to those southeast winds. But as of right now, just Long Island with that uh, threat of that 
uh, profile that could give those storms some rotation. Through 2 a.m., we're going to be looking towards the southern parts of Connecticut and eastern Connecticut for those downpours. So along I-84 and south, that's where we could see some of the worst torrential rainfall. By 4 a.m., 6 a.m., we see things clearing out, but the flooding continues. Those sm small streams feeding over into bigger streams and rivers, and we could be talking about ongoing flooding concerns all day long tomorrow. Low temperatures for tonight, just about 60 degrees or so. High temperatures for tomorrow, 74 degrees in Hartford, 75 in New London, and we will be seeing the sun come out for us, which is nice for some cleanup and for uh, hopefully some drying out here. Love the temperatures, 72 on Friday, still breezy, 77 on Saturday, and we're looking at good conditions starting off Labor Day weekend, 78 on Sunday, and we're looking for sunnier skies once we get to Labor Day on Monday, but uh, a heck of a lot of rain to go through for the remainder of the evening have a dangerous situation across some areas with ongoing flash flooding concerns Aaron that is for sure Connor and Bruce thank you very much also want to